हेलो है वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इज मी प्रेम कुमार यूर होस्ट एंड आपका दोस्त वन ऑफ द की क्वेश्चन आई कीप रिसीविंग एवरी डे इज वॉट डज द जॉब मार्केट लुक लाइक इन यू के इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड बी ऑन लाइक नेक्स्ट थ्री फोर ईयर्स इन ऑडिटिंग अकाउंटिंग एडवाइस डी दो टाइप ऑफ करियर्स वॉट डज इट इवन लुक लाइक वॉट काइंड ऑफ जॉब्स आर आउट देयर इज दर इनफ ग्रोथ आउट देयर फॉर एस टू सी के करियर अब्रॉड इन यू के आर दिंग टू बी अपॉर्चुनिटीज दिस द क्वेश्चन आई रिसीव इन दिस वीडियो आई बी हाईलाइटिंग सम एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ what has been trend over last 5 6 years what it does look like based on the economy based on the government in position based on the overall uk immigration status and changes in the visa rules now and then so stay tuned till the end of the video i'll make sure i highlight everything that i know and that would be helpful to you before going into the details of the video you can check out my channel for a lot of videos on uk careers immigration lifestyle in uk comparison with middle east or other countries us etc there are 500 plus videos on the channel you can definitely check out all is sorted out in the playlist so back to the topic jobs in uk 2024 especially for accountants chartered accountants accas simas and all the guys so i'll start first with the historical trend and i'll move to the future trend what does it look like so if you think of historical trend last few years there has been ton of people coming in in audit accounting advisory consulting deals consulting risk management risk risk advisory taxation and a lot of other fields like in typical finance as well uh, because there was a demand and that demand was generated number one post covid and secondly few years back like in 2019 2020 2018 2019 uh, there were limited uh, sponsorships available uh, and due to sell issues lot of accountants or finance professional couldn't get the visas and a lot of my friends were impacted by that as well so to compensate that and covid uh, impacts and even brexit impacts there was a lot of immigration in uk legal immigration in uk in accounting auditing and this kind of fields to mitigate the labor shortage and a lot of people who got jobs after me when i came in 2019 there were tons of people all my juniors and everybody else literally most of my batchmates in uk uh, because there was a demand so yes struggle trend was very very great in all fields not just audit it's everywhere uh, in all fields it and ev- everywhere now what does it look like right now basically uk has seen a lot of changes uh, if you follow the news uk is one of those countries which has become less attractive for people to come in as against maybe us maybe other european countries because uk overall has seen a downturn economy post brexit post covid uh, the public finances are uh, in disorder there has been change of government and there are no obvious plans there is a black hole in economy uh, people are moving away from uk if you follow the news uh, so the point to say really is uk is not as attractive as a country than it used to be that's why uh, businesses are slightly moving away from uk people are moving away from uk at least this levels that means of course economy is going down and overall with every other country the impact of war inflation and everything uk has uh not seen any growth in last one or two years uh, it was one of those countries which escaped recession so not greatly performing country and coupled with issues on immigration you must have seen news of uh rights across uk about uh, anti immigration and a lot of other issues uk is not that ideal in terms of number one for people to come and secondly uh for business to thrive and hence demand for individuals from abroad so because if it, the economy is not growing why they would even need more people from abroad so that was more to give you context about what does the uk uh, look like right now now about the auditing field jobs or maybe the future trend uh the trend has significantly reduced in this year uh there has been lot less jobs people complain that they just apply and get rejection and it's a fact a lot of people approach me for referrals but there are not enough jobs uh, or there are enough jobs for them to uh, be referred to so this year the trend was largely driven by change of government business were not certain that what government would look like or what would be their economic policies and will it be growth enablement or will it just reduce the economy overall so it was not certain secondly the major major driver that is impacting current year and that's likely going to impact next 4 5 years in all fields it's just not accountants it's just not it guys for the all fields that uk home office keeps revising their visa rules immigration rules and there has been a lot of changes for students for skill worker and things like that you know the, the last the last changes for about the salary requirements for the skill worker visa that you need to have a higher salary threshold than it used to be earlier that means businesses have to pay much higher money to individuals uh, to to employ them from abroad to sponsor them rather than 
paying less amount as was in past. That means businesses' ability to sponsor candidates is reduced. Uh, they may want candidates which are local to save on costs rather than employ candidates which are from abroad. And that has adverse implication on all sectors that businesses don't want to sponsor a lot of candidates from abroad unless absolutely related. That has majorly impacted. To give the context, I think the revised requirement is 38,700. You have to give this minimum salary to a skilled worker for them to be sponsored on a skilled worker visa. So overall dynamics have shifted UK industry down to a less uh, acceptable number of legal immigration. Uh, in accounting and auditing field, firms have of course seen growth in last year. Uh, all the firms have seen growth. Deloitte of course seen the highest growth in all other before firms and all firms have seen growth in last year. But at the same time, the firms have seen higher retention than past. There have been less people moving away from firms, less turnover. And that means people are sticking to the places in last year and their trend is most likely continuing because the economy is not great. People don't want to switch jobs and risk uh, their careers. People haven't moved and that's where there has been less demand. Because the firms operate in a model that people come and go, uh, that's the philosophy of the firms all years around. People come, people get trained, people go, and the, the expectation is already built in uh, the resourcing model that people will leave, and that's why they hire. But in the last one year, people haven't left that much, and that means there's less capacity for new people to come in. And if you even think of UK market, PwC have been silently uh, downsizing, right? Uh, you must have heard the news that PwC asked employees not to disclose that they are being uh, uh, removed from the jobs. So that's also happening. I mean, th the point really is there are enough people already in big four firms or the top firms in order accounting advisory fields that they are even trying to downsize, trying to remove people because they just hired too much based on the expected economy. But the last year economy was just the worst, and that's where there's not enough need. Now, having said that, there are of course jobs and people keep getting jobs in UK and even other countries as well. Uh, that means there are roles out there that need people. Audit is one of those roles whereby you still need people, because especially depending on the skills you have. Like UK has seen specialization across all firms. That means if you're expert in analytics, if, if you're expert in IT audits, if you're expert in financial instruments, if you're expert in credit analysis, if you're expert in pensions, or maybe some other field that's very, very relevant and it's needed, there are jobs out there. Even there are typical normal audit senior jobs as well, but they are not too much. And if we compare to the historical trend, no, there are not enough jobs and most of people get rejections. Comparing that with the way forward, what does it look like next four or five years? UK doesn't seem to be a very, very great place, a very attractive place for people to come because of a number of reasons on the economy, the government, um, the immigration scenarios and all this stuff, like overall on a general level. From a government perspective, yes, once the new government is elected, of course, there's more stability. Uh, firms always strive to increase the profits, increase the market share and everything. So of course, there will be opportunities out there. And the opportunities are being shifted from uh, typical auditing or typical advisory to more of a um, uh, <coughs> risk-based or more of a consultant work, AI-driven work, technology-driven work. So when, if you have got those skills uh, coupled with your ordinary audit or advisory skills, I think there are higher chances. But there are but there are of course less jobs. I can't think the same trend will continue in job space, the increasing trend that we saw in the last five years because there was a demand at the time. There's not going to be that much demand. And that means UK may not be one of those attractive options for you. Uh, and that means you must explore all the options and not just the UK for your career because there aren't going to be that many jobs and firms. Hopefully this helps. Thanks so much for watching.